everyone, welcome back to Shuo Shuo Chinese. Shuo Shuo Zhongwen, I'm Shuo, your Chinese native speaking teacher. Yao Shuo Shuo Zhongwen, I'm Zhao Xina. You are my Zhongwen. Oh, how? 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 速度与激情中，我最喜欢，所以现在是音乐时间。我觉得我听得懂你的中文，但是我听不太懂你的逻辑。Everybody knows that John Cena speaks Chinese。他在哈中国。现在我有冰淇淋。我喜欢冰淇淋。但是速度与激情。But how good is his Chinese? If John Cena was my student. How rich would I be? If John Cena was my student, how would I evaluate his Chinese? So today in this video, I'm gonna break down John Cena's Chinese, and I've chosen this video, this video, and of course the video that has gone viral to see how well John Cena actually speaks Chinese. I will first talk about the things that have impressed me when John Cena speaks Chinese and what you can learn from him. And I've also spotted some mistakes that sound really familiar to me as a Chinese teacher, because those are the common mistakes that many of my own students often make. So, without further ado, let's get started. First thing that I want to point out is his fluency when speaking Chinese. I'm a foreigner. Foreigner. But in China, in China, I'm a foreigner. Sometimes he even speaks much faster than native speakers. See, I can't. Many of my students think and speak really fast when using English. The greatest successes come from having the freedom to fail. But when switching to Chinese, they suddenly become another person. But John Cena is different. His brain works as fast when speaking Chinese. For example, the famous "Bing Chilling" video. I don't think he had a script for that. It would be ridiculous if he had one. But he successfully made a weird but somehow logical connection between "bingqiling" and "速度与激情九 and "music time" (音乐时间). 我很喜欢冰淇淋，但是速度与激情九 B 冰淇淋，速度与激情，速度与激情九我最喜欢。所以现在是音乐时间，准备，一、二、三。And the lyrics rhyme too. Also, he said, "Don't forget, don't 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 forget, don It's actually quite impressive if the whole video was improvised. Other than that, he was not nervous too when speaking with a native Chinese speaker. This is very good. Even in the situation where I think he probably didn't understand what the other woman said, here are two things that I think have helped him improve his confidence and fluency when speaking Chinese. First, he uses English words in his Chinese sentences naturally whenever he doesn't know or doesn't remember a certain word in Chinese. I was just a little embrace Chinese culture. Learning other languages is not easy. And second, once he knows a word, he uses that word repeatedly in different situations. I just learned Chinese. Another thing that is really impressive is, I was quite surprised to see that not only could John Cena describe different things in Chinese, but he was also able to explain some 
abstract logic in Chinese. I've never watched Da Huang Feng, but I could totally get what he was trying to say. And this, in my opinion, is actually a quite advanced skill when speaking a foreign language. Now I want to talk about the things that can be improved in John Cena's Chinese. As a Chinese teacher and a language learner myself, I think making mistakes is a part of language learning. I probably have made tons of mistakes speaking English in my videos. Please feel free to correct me in the comments and I really appreciate that. I guess most of you can hear that his accent, his American accent is actually quite strong and he occasionally makes some small grammatical mistakes. But it doesn't affect me as a native speaker to understand what he's talking about. So I won't be sitting here being super critical and pointing out all the mistakes that he made. However, from Zhang Xin's Chinese, we can see some typical mistakes of Chinese learners. And I think it will be super helpful if I can analyze those mistakes for you. And this is exactly what I want to do with my channel. I will first show you his sentences. And then I will give you a few seconds to think about what his mistakes are. Now we Could you tell me what is wrong with this sentence? 变成, become. Become successful, you will become successful. 变成 does mean become, but let's see the literal meaning of the characters. 变 means become, 成 means into. So 变成, become into, change into, turn into, which implies that we should put a noun after 变成. So you can say either 你会变成一个成功的人, 你会变成一个成功的人, or 你会变得成功, 你会变得成功. Next one. 我不知道关于老公吗, 但是中国人说这是非常好的chili sauce. 我不知道关于老干妈, I don't know about 老干妈. What's wrong here? It's the word about. 关于, we only translate about as 关于 when the word about is used independently. 这个故事是关于圣诞节的. 这个故事是关于圣诞节的. But when saying the verbal phrases like think about, talk about, discuss about, consider about, know about, like about is one part of the verbal phrase. We don't have to say the word. We don't have to translate about. 想, 讨论, 考虑, 知道. You don't need to say 关于. 今天我们要来讨论三个问题. 今天我们要来讨论三个问题. 请你考虑一下我的建议. 请你考虑一下我的建议. 我不知道老干妈, or 我没有听过老干妈. 我不知道老干妈, 我没有听过老干妈. 所以我必须告诉你, 如果你学习英文, 我必须告诉你, I have to tell you. What's wrong with this? It sounds perfect. The thing is, both 我必须告诉你, or 我必须说, 
They are pretty Western expressions. In Chinese, we don't say that. If you say 我必须告诉你 it sounds really serious. It sounds like you are going to make a real, a really serious confession. 我必须要告诉你，其实你的老公已经出轨很久了。In John Cena's case, he can say, 所以我想告诉你，如果你学习英文， blah blah blah, or 所以我想说，如果你学习英文，什么什么什么。看到大黄蜂，看到大黄蜂，看到大黄蜂。This one may not be super difficult. When you want to say to watch, to see, to visit, to read, to look at those actions that you do with your eyes, you use the word 看 But if you also want to mention the result, like you get, you successfully get the vision. What can I look at something and then I got the vision? You use the word 看到我看啊，我看到了。John Cena wants people to go to the cinema to look to watch the movie, so he needs to say 看大黄蜂 instead of 看到大黄蜂 If you want to know more about this structure, take a look at this video. 差不多一样，冰淇淋再见。Why am I have a craving for a bing chiling? 差不多一样冰淇淋。这个也不太难吧？你应该说和冰淇淋差不多，和冰淇淋一样，和冰淇淋差不多一样。Or 就像冰淇淋，速度与激情九非常棒，就像冰淇淋。All right. I hope you have learned something from this video and have got some inspiration from John Cena. If you think I can help you improve your understanding of Chinese grammar and Chinese sentence structure, make sure to check out my grammar course structure review plan on my website, shoshochinese.com. I will see you in my next video. 再见。